The other thing that I try to do to improve my odds is go to, go to places where I'm more likely to find a great business with a great management team selling for a good price. So first off, what I don't do, mostly because it doesn't suit me personally, um, because I have a pride thing where I want to find things myself, I don't, I don't read sell-side research to find ideas. I don't read 13Fs to find ideas. Um, I don't read some zero and zick to, some zero and Vic to find ideas. These are all good things that can work for people. It doesn't work for me, but I, I shut them off. Because um, again, the idea is to focus on the areas where I am most likely to find things that suit my investment strategy. So what do I do? I want to find areas where people are selling prim not primarily for the long-term value of this company. So mostly that's special situations and places where people are depressed. So when it comes to special situations, what I want to improve my odds are sellers who are uninformed or would rather sell than do the work to figure out what this thing is worth. I want some sort of new freedom for the management team or for the company. Either they've gotten rid of a joint venture partner who was holding them back, or they've gotten rid of a parent or a subsidiary that was holding them back and forcing them to do suboptimal things with their allocation, their capital allocation. I want to find places where the incentives are now going to help me post this transaction, post this thing, to, to get better returns. So that's one area. Um, and on special situations, I look at spin-offs. I look at tender offers where a company is buying back its own stock, particularly in unusual ways. Um, because this, the, the, the great thing also about special situations is it can, can give you something to look at to evaluate management. Did they do something smart? Are the reasons that they're doing this something that you can get behind? You can use this as a time to evaluate management. Um, and if you find something you like, this is a great, a great thing. The other areas that are special situations are like exchange offer split offs. Um, and I also like bankruptcy exits because all of these areas have one or more of these parts that give me the potential for better odds. And that's why I'm looking at them. And this is all stuff that comes out of Joel Greenblatt's You Can Be a Stock Market Genius. Love that book. And when I tell people this is what I do, they, they, the complaint that I get most often is that, yes, everybody's read that book. The, these ideas are dead. Um, they're picked over by everybody. And they're still out there. Um, spin-offs right now, Mead was going to spin off its performance chemicals business, then Rock 10 merged with Mead, and now that's been delayed, but they're still going to spin off that good business, which is now an even smaller part of a paper company. Um, that's going to happen in early next year. So that's, that's a potentially interesting spin-off. Um, on tender offers, Hennessy Advisors, which is a San Francisco-based mutual fund, yesterday finished their tender offer for 15% of their stock at about 14 times earnings. This is an outstanding business buying back stock at a very low price. That's something interesting to look at. On exchange offers, at the end of this month, you can convert your Dow shares into Olin because Olin is buying Dow's um, chloralkali business, making them number one with the lowest cost in North America. Maybe not my kind of great business, but this is happening this month. And a few weeks ago, Altegrity emerged from bankruptcy. Altegrity owns Kroll. They own, um, what is it, on higher right. They own some great businesses, and they, they came into bankruptcy because a third business, which doesn't exist, pissed off the government um, by vetting uh, Snowden. So in each of these areas, there's stuff happening right now. And you don't have to have all of them be the most amazing thing, but they're all happening right now. So this, this is still a fertile place to look. Um, that was one area where I like to find things. I also like to go into depressed areas when there aren't any of these special situations happening that, or I've exhausted them because they all, I turn the page on them because they're not good enough for whatever red flag. I like to look at new lows. I like to see companies where the stock has underperformed the market for the past two years uh, because then you have people who are really depressed. Um, I like to look at stock markets where they've underperformed for the year. Like the worst performing stock market year to date is Singapore, if you look on the Wall Street Journal list. Like you can see that every day. Like go look at Singapore. The, the thing I want to look for on new lows or weak markets, um, and I'll also look at microcaps, is where the baby has been thrown out with the bathwater. So you, you, the point is to go someplace where in this case, you're more likely to get better odds on the price. 
and you still want to have the good business with the good management. So th that's, that's two things I do to try to, to deal with the problem of having tens of thousands of potential things where doing work on any one of them, which is good work, takes me days, weeks, whatever, a long period of time. And to winnow that field, I want to look in useful places, and I want to kill mediocre ideas as quickly as possible.